Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. I want to talk to you today about Ollie's and I want to share something with you I got in the mail today. Stick around. As most of you know, Ollie's, the discount store with the slogan, Good Stuff Cheap, from time to time carries models and model cars. Uh, I know many of you have probably, like myself, seen on Facebook where someone will take pictures of the displays in their local Ollie's. Well, in Spartanburg, where I live, the Ollie's, we're just not so lucky. Uh, I'll see this stuff online and I'll dash over to Ollie's and I'll take a look and there won't be a single model or there'll be one or two. Uh, but we never get a just big display of, of models. I think a couple of years ago at Christmas we I saw a decent selection. Uh, and they're priced right. Um, I, I think most of these are discontinues, overstock, that kind of stuff. But... Uh, this week, I got uh, a text from someone, uh, a friend that was at Ollie's and said, hey, Ollie's has got uh, a, a decent amount of cars, and they sent these pictures. Uh, and then there was also a uh, 64 Ford, then, of course, the Mustang that you see here, and the the um, the Viper, and the, some snap-togethers, things like that. And I thought, well, great. And I had seen a lot of what he had picture had pictures of, also on Facebook, I think last week. So um, had to make a trip, and of course, by the time I got there, there was almost nothing left. I'd love to have that '99 Mustang, uh, monogram Mustang, but there were a few leftovers. And one of the ones that I really was glad to be able to get my hands on, uh, the '64 Ford was were already gone. But I got another one of these, and I want to take a look. Uh, with you at this one, because I've got, an, I have a thought about this. Um, I think I've shared with you. I picked one of these up at um, our hobby, sh our local hobby shop, not long ago. Um, but for the price at Ollie's, you can't beat this. But I also found this for Zoe, for my granddaughter, another Snapfast, and this is the AMT Street Heat. Um, something interesting about this. I took one of these kits years ago. I never did finish it, but I made it into a two-door. I moved the uh, B-pillar back slightly and canted it just a little bit, reshaped it, and made it into a two-door, uh, eliminated where the wing, if you're not familiar with this car, it's got the big wing in the back. But for a snap together, this I think will be really cool and very colorful for uh, for Zoe. For her, I think this will be her fourth, four, no, 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 this will be her sixth model kit and um, the decals. And by the way, you know, a lot of these snaps have uh, the peel and stick stickers, which she loves those. But since I showed her how to use the water slide, she likes to do the water stickers. Um, even though I've got to kind of play some a little, little bit with her uh, and, and teach her the patience though, but I think it's really good stuff. And this one is molded in bright yellow, black vinyl wheels, all that stuff. But I think she's gonna enjoy this one. And I need to see if I can dig up that body that I modified. I think I've got primer on it somewhere. Um, but cool little kit for her. And the other thing I got was another snap together. And this one is a Revell. And this is the 2017 uh, Ford GT. And this one, I thought, oh, there's another great one for Zoe. And then I thought, you know what? I have an idea you know the candy colors we just did, the testing the paint? I just happened to think of a two-tone paint job on this thing that I think might look pretty good as just a shelf model and another good way to test those candy colors. But honestly, with all that's on my plate to actually build, this is probably going to end up in Zoe's uh, stuff too. And there's a few other ones that I'm going to see if I maybe can find for her. She has, uh, of course, the Mustang. Ooh, the Ferrari might be a good one to do. Anyway, so got this one as well. Um, but that um, Copperhead, I always like to hit me in that thing. And I want to, again, take a look at something here in a second. Also, in the mail today, uh, I got my kit of the month from Salvino's. And we all know uh, uh, most of what these are. This is the old monogram Buick. This is the Bobby Allison Buick. 
And, you know, I, I saw someone, I need to go back on one of the stock car, or NASCAR, uh, and there's a lot of them, uh, Facebook groups. Someone painted these rims, and if you'll see that, check those out. They had that effect on them, and I'm thinking about doing my brass stuff on, uh, that you remember from a couple of videos back, on the brass and chrome finishes, trying that on those wheels too. But um, anyway, this month's kit was the Bobby Allison um, 83 Buick, which was the championship car. And this month's decals, our sticker is, again, Jim's Famous Barn uh, in Waco. And this month's extra decals are, I think this is for the uh, 80... I think it was the 80 or 81, 81 Monte Carlo uh, that ran at um, Riverside. In fact, I want to say it was on the pole at Riverside. Uh, another set of the Hardy's decals, the Cale Yarborough. Uh, I think this is the Monte Carlo, the Rainier. Yeah, 83, so that'd be the Monte Carlo. Uh, well, you, you can tell by the tail end there, too. I don't know, is it me or is that... Look like they didn't register dead on, but I got plenty of these anyway. Uh, and one of my favorite announcers of all time, and a guy that I, I got to meet several times when I was uh, wandering around the pits, um, and that's Benny Parsons. And I remember this car too. Uh, what a great guy, though! Just an awesome, awesome guy. But another set of the Benny Parson car. And you know, this car was really sharp. It really was. And speaking of which, when I had my NASCAR license early on, this thing, by the way, was a bright white. And this was a actually, never was a gigantic Bobby Allison fan. I have a great amount of respect for him, and I, I did like him. But, you know, I was the, always the petty fan. But this was a gorgeous race car. I mean, it was a really good-looking race car. Very well manicured. Um, and, and thing I like about these Buicks, if you look right there, you see how that's blistered out. The fenders were on these uh, these early cars. Well, check this out. I just always thought that was where they're flared out a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say flared, but they're blistered out just a little bit. And I remember uh, Butch, when he drove the 26 car, um, that car being like that too and the front fenders are just as well with the hood off it's kind of hard to tell but the, the fenders being a little flared out or blistered out there a little bit but um, let me tell you these Buicks to me were just a really really good looking look, good looking body but this car this all white uh, Buick that Bobby drove and with the red accents and you know Neil Castle's you drove a Charger years ago that I always thought was absolutely beautiful. Saw it in the pits, too. Solid white Charger, white interior, um, and it had the, the red markings, and it was just beautiful. But uh, great color combo. And if you remember the cars that I, we ran in my RC days, uh, the 43s that I ran, a lot of, had several of them were, were white with the petty blue numbers. Just always liked a white race car for some reason. Um, okay, well, that's the kit of the month for this month, and I know Jim's done an opening, and I, there's several people that have done box openings, things like that, so I'm, all, I'm not going to try to do overkill on it, but I do want to look at this Copperhead for a reason. When I was a kid, when Don Garlitz came out with, and I don't remember which Swamp, Swamp Fox it was, but the first rear engine, uh, after he came back after losing part of his foot with, in that, uh, front engine slingshot, um... When he returned with the first rear engine car, there was a model that came out and it had the parachute with it. And I looked on the box and I don't see that that, I wondered if it was the same kit. And I don't see the um, the parachute with it, so it probably doesn't. But I'm curious uh, about a couple of things with this. So let's, let's take a look at this thing. I don't know if anybody has picked up this or not, but this represents one of the early ones before they started putting the big wings on the back. Um, but that technology changed up, so we're going to take a look here. Looks like it's got the pad printed uh, slicks. 
but and I've got two or three sets of those wire spokes uh, like you saw on the the Tony Nancy uh, video as well as the uh, well the trike I just did the other day had the photo etch front wheel um, same thing I've got several sets of those and being the Mopar guy you know I love that Hemi but let's take a look at this thing real quick great chrome sprue let's cut that out and take a look real quick oh yeah and I was curious about the yep alright I think this is that garlic's kit because even though it shows right here you know it's just got the the three butterfly blower but garlic's had the open scoop and as you see right here that looks like oh sorry about that it's just the open scoop and it's not not well no I'm wrong it does have the butterflies that's not a problem if you ever want to change that up though guys um, head over to slicks decals and uh, take a look at the what's it called um, Wow lost my mind there for a minute um, competition resins and they have that uh, that proper scoop that's the course finish on the uh, valve covers this chrome actually looks really good. Uh, it actually looks to scale where a lot of it I re chrome because it doesn't look to scale. There's your rear wheels. And these spokes are really clean too, guys. You would think if this is that old mold, there'd be a lot, and I mean a lot of flash on those in between the spokes. But I only see one piece, and I bet I can push it out right there. Yep, there it goes. Um, so the chrome looks really good. We'll put that back in the bag here. And there is our, yes, pad printed tires. And as you see, this is the whole kit right here, guys. Just like the real cars, there's not a lot to them. Uh, keep down on the weight on those things. There's our pad printed, printed two-piece slicks. Wow, fatties, looking good. And of course, our uh, front runners. All right, looking good, looking good. And again, there's the uh, main chassis, one piece body. I always like the one piece body. Even though there was a section on the top that would lift off so you could get to the fuel cell and all. But, uh, let's take a look at this. From an old school standpoint, pre rear wing, so to speak. Yeah. There you go. Looking good. And most of it is, I mean, this is it, guys. That's the whole car. Um, oh, the headers are individual. Of course, I'm going to be doing these out of probably stainless tube, bending some stainless tube. Um, I don't remember those being individual, though. I thought those uh, zoomies were... Uh, just a one piece thing and I actually thought they were chrome where's that chrome sprue no they're not on there well this is apparently not the kit I thought it was but that's okay too there's our chute I don't remember spent so long those disc brakes but uh, could have been could have been all right. I'm not going to put that back in there. And then let's see what else we have in here. We'll look at the decals last. Uh, instruction sheet is very small. Of course, there's not a whole lot to these dragsters anyway. Uh, your basic engine assembly. Do that first. Tires. And that is pretty much it. All right, there's a 
piece of cardboard down here, so I'm assuming this is a backdrop or something. Oh, it's a model box. The mini model boxes that AMT uh, used to do. I used to actually put a few of these things together from time to time. Cool. But I am curious about the decals because I know what they show on the box. There's usually one or two other little things in besides that. Slick's decals, by the way, also carries a ton of drag racing everything when it comes to decals and uh, extra stuff. So, uh, oh, all right. In addition to that, well, it looks like there's enough to do it in two different paint schemes. You got the red with the uh, gold or copper colored letters, and then you've got the copper with the red letters. So huh? you can do something. Then you got one that's called Snake Bitten. Well, I didn't know this stuff was in here. Then you've got the snake with the fangs down there. Then you got a couple of different color snake skins. And this would be for down the front of the uh, the body there. So you got one for there and then one going down to the front. And for my 16th scale dragster, if you remember, I've got one called the Rattler. And it's got the snake that runs down the, the length of the body. And it's a top fueler. It, but it's a slingshot dragster, too. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I got plenty of my NASCARs I need to get back up to first, but I wanted to take a look at this. I really thought this might be that uh, same one that was the Garlets, and it still might be, but it uh, the Garlets had the parachute that was deployed on the back so you could run some strings and, and display it like it was uh, at the end of the run. But isn't that cool? And again, that's got your pad printed uh, good years on it. Very nice, very nice. And now we know. But uh, yeah, if you got all, all these locally, hey, and if you guys, if if y'all have them where they're they're well stocked with models, I don't know if it's a management thing or the managers or just uh, depending on the location of the store. It's a decent sized store, and we're in a um, a decent sized town. Um, it I I don't know why we don't have what everybody else post the pictures of that are these these gigantic displays um but i mean in, in in fairness it's not like i'm in ollie's you know twice a week or every week or you know maybe once a month uh, uh we we get our coffee pods there and things like that because it's it's good stuff and it is cheap um but cool kid cool kid but if you guys um encounter the same issues I do just a hit and miss occasional thing um, let me know well guys thanks so much appreciate it very much we will see you in the next video God bless you guys have an awesome week see you later